O'Brien. Wow! Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day on the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. The TGIF, folks, it's the first one of 2020. Get those jetpacks. I love it. To begin a great relationship, know what you want. Know what the needs of your body are and what the needs of your mind are and what fits well with you. There are millions of men and women, and some of them will be a good match for you and others won't. The two of you only to be like a key in a lock, a match that works. Market eyes, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 173, NASDAQ off 45, S&P's down 16. Gold contract up $21, trading at 1550 an ounce. Silver up two cents, $18.07 an ounce. Light sweet crude up a buck eighty, sixty-two dollars ninety-eight cents a barrel. Notes and bonds. You get the ten-year up twenty-three ticks, one twenty-nine eleven. The thirty-year up a point and a half at one fifty-eight oh six. And king dollar, king dollar up seven ticks, trading ninety-six eight fifty-three. The euro is at one eleven. The yen is at one oh eight, and the pound is at one thirty to one U.S. dollar. Our phone number is eight seven seven nine two seven six six four eight. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world. In the world of the S&Ps, let's take a look at it. You talk about the deviants, folks. You're going to love these markets, man. These, these are great markets. Okay. So what do I mean by that? High volatility. The deviantness comes into the marketplace uh, in a day like this in a huge way. You had already gone to highs. The first high that we had up here, bottom line, had no volume. Second high, inside the NASDAQ, you had volume behind the move. That's telling me we're going to get tested again. If you take a look at the S&P futures, we were down at 32.06 overnight. You're at 32.43. Market shook it off. Bottom line, we're up at 32.43. And the high for the day is 32.46, which was established out here at 1 o'clock in the afternoon. I expect we're going to go right after it. And don't be surprised if they run this market right into the close once again. Now, that being said, what you're going to have is this. So watch this. If we take the SPY and we put the SPY up, what you're going to see... As you're coming up here, we're we're up a dollar fifty. We're down a dollar fifty-two right now at three twenty-three. We start lining this baby up. What you're actually going to see here is that you got another doji that's lined up. We had the last three weeks. We've had dojis that are up, up at these highs. The first week, this is inside the spy. Now, um, the end, the third week of December, you had volume up there. The volume up there in the third week uh, was uh, four hundred twenty-six million. We did 146, and we're going to do uh, 213. What I do expect, as I just said, though, I do expect that the highs are going to get tested more than likely Monday or Tuesday. NDX 100, three Qs. You can see it inside the three Qs. Three Qs yesterday blew away a B point. Now, it's going to be intriguing here in the Qs is this. The NDX 100, as well as the three Qs, as well as the NASDAQ composite, blew away a B point and did have the volume. So the question is, is that, okay, is it going to be a test of the high or are you going to get the full ABC structure on the way up? So first I'm going to do the ABC structure on the way up. Your, your B point is 214.56. Your A point is approximately uh, 201.78. What did I say? 215. Okay, so you're talking about the 12 and a half points. That would get you 12, 30, 12, 23. Yeah, 223. Approximately 223, we hit 216. Okay, so that's 223 would be ABC structure on the way up your price projection. What you want to be looking for is this. How do you come into these highs, number one? Do you reject them? And do you reject them with lighter volume? If that's what you get, guess what? That would be saying that, guess what? This, this move that's gone higher, you will get a move and a sell-off on the way down. Deviant beyond belief, because what you also have happening here is this. When you get a move... This fast down overnight, and this is like the first move that we've had like this in a long time. Most times it really does come right back. What I've seen is that when you are at a high and you get this move, I really dig it because many times you, you go all the way back up and then every person that ever shot it ever will say, I'm not going to do this again. I'm, that's not going to happen. And guess what? That ends up being a high you get the test in the high, then you get the pullback. Gold, gold contract. You can see what's happening out here, okay? So the gold contract today will not pull back. Now, I, I can 
totally understand why I wouldn't pull back. And the reason being, folks, is this. Gold in general, if it's trending up on a Friday, it's very dangerous to be shot gold on a Friday. Even if it's just trending up, never mind that, you know, you have rockets going across the world and drones going across the world um, and more basically chaos. OK, so you, they're not going to sell into the gold market. And that's why you see gold being at 22. And that being said, yet the equities haven't held price. So watch what happens here. The XAU bottom line, you know, didn't even make it over its highs. We went from 108 to uh, 105. If we go take a look at uh, an Eco Eagle, we bring an Eco Eagle up. What you're going to see is that you're still in the consolidation. You're up uh, you're flat, really. $60.48. Uh, we go take a look at Royal Gold. Royal Gold right now is down a buck. Light volume. Now, as it, th- th- this is what you're going to you wrap your head around. It. We had gone higher on Monday. 484000 you go lower today with 235 That's saying that the miners still want higher price. We go take a look at the GDX, and what you're going to see with the GDX, the GDX got up to a higher high today, uh, gave it up. That's saying the GDX is going to pull back also. We're at 2908 That's saying 2866 is game. It's, there's all these deviant moves in the marketplace when you have... When you're, well, first off, when you're at all-time highs. Secondly, when you have these types of um, shocks into the marketplace. That, that's kind of how it shakes out. Notes and bonds. Let's go take a look at the note and bond market. Note and bond market, folks, absolutely want higher price, lower yield. And this is just a, I've been saying it for years now. It's the ever-ready bunny. I mean, the retracements are so shallow inside these marketplace and each and every time, you know, bottom line is plenty of folks that think rates are going to still continue to, uh, uh, they're not still continue to go up, they're going down to go up, but not, you know, technically, the 10 year right now is at 129. This thing is on its way to 132. Big number. If we take a look at the yield inside the 10 year right now, we're at 1.79. That's saying we're going down to 1.69. Higher price, lower yield. Dow, Dow down 183, NASDAQ off 51, S&P's down 17 and a half. We'll come right back.